Uh, Join us now for more on this. He talks sports rugby reporter over in France, Alfie Reynolds. We caught up with Alfie last week in the camper van. Hello, Alfie. How are you? Andy, how are you, mate? I'm great. Very well. Where are you? Do you have the letter A behind you? Uh, no letter A, I'm afraid. I wasn't as uh, well prepared, prepared as Adrian. Uh, I'm still in Marseille, though, where a lot of the action was over the weekend. was absolutely brilliant. The city's quietened down a little bit now, as you would probably expect. But a, gr- a great opening weekend for the Rugby World Cup. Listen, before we talk about England against Argentina and the other games, you're right, it was a fantastic start to a very long tournament, seven weeks. Why is yeah. it so long when you've got gaps in the week? So... There's no game now till Thursday. What? Who's come up with that schedule? Yeah, well, there's a few different reasons for it. I mean, I suppose the obvious one is player safety. Rugby, they just can't do it in the way that, for example, the Football World Cup do it, where in the group stages you have games back-to-back, as enjoyable that yeah, is but, for the fans. But, Al- a... but Alfie, there, there are teams that haven't played yet, right? So it's not like they're playing yeah, but... two games in five days. Yeah, well, that would then be you'd need to... Um, change the pool structure or have more teams in the competition there's an odd number of teams in the pool so they will all get breaks world rugby will say that that also gives the teams more breaks you have previously had it where in the 2019 world cup for example you had teams that had maybe four day turnarounds you had more fixtures tighter together part of the reason they have got rid of that is because you would constantly be having teams for example new zealand the bigger nations who would always be having a week's break And then you would be having the smaller nations that would have three or four day turnarounds. And ultimately, it wasn't fair. So a big part of it was also to try and even out the competition because it was always the supposed tier two nations that were having the smaller breaks in between games. Okay, Do you want to talk England, Benny? There's no, just about, again, like a World Cup going on for two months to me just seems nuts. nuts. It's great if you love your rugby, though, boys. I need to get you on board, I think. By the end of it, that's going to be one of my aims to to make sure you're, you're loving it. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, no, I mean, I do understand where you're coming from. It is a slog, the Rugby World Cup, seven weeks. But I just don't think it's feasible either, lads. I mean, if, if you I mean, look if, at the if, physical... If, if the, sorry to bait. If the team that are playing Thursday... I don't have the schedule in front of me, right? But yeah, there Uruguay will be, against France. Right, yeah. They haven't played yet, right? Yeah, correct. Right. So surely, if, the, if you've got a lot of games coming up in a tournament... Then their next game, who, who Uruguay, let's say Uruguay, Uruguay's next game will be closer to Thursday than it would be if they played today. So surely by playing today, they're going to get a longer break between matches. So why, I just don't get why there aren't games up until Thursday. Well, no, but it couldn't work that way because France, for example, played on Friday. So Uruguay didn't play the opening weekend. Oh, so right, I suppose I they've had a, a longer run up to the tournament. But because there's five teams in a pool you're always going to have someone not playing one week but it doesn't okay. it wouldn't quite work out if you see what i mean so you could in theory schedule say for example we had three games on saturday we had three games on sunday so you could in theory maybe have only one or two games on each of those yeah. days and spread yeah. it out but at yeah. some point the fixture list will will catch up with you okay you've, you've explained that well well done thank you for that <laughs> thank you <laughs> Alfred, let me speak to you about england's performance then um listen good result against argentina um what did you make of their performance and do you think they can go relatively far in this competition? Well, they can go far in the competition because of the nature of the draw and the lopsided ah, nature. Ah, one of those of ones. Yeah, so England are on the easier side of the draw. World Rugby did it three years ago, which is absolutely bonkers. The uh, world rankings have changed completely since then. But what it means is England don't have to play that well, Benty, to get themselves to a semi-final. So I think that's realistic, possibly, for England. In terms of the performance on Saturday... Brilliant. They came into the tournament in terrible form. They got a player sent off in the first 10 minutes of the game and they dominated Argentina. They beat them really comfortably. Argentina went 3-0 up when England went down to 14 players. They didn't score another point until the 79th minute, by which time the game was was done. So the way that England problem solved with the task in front of them, I think, was encouraging. There will be tougher tests to come and they aren't by no means going to... Well, it would be quite incredible if they won this World Cup, but... I think it's just given the fans something at least to get excited mm. about. Um, thank you for coming on, Alfie. Are you married or are you in a relationship? I am engaged. Okay. Are you out? Are you out there for seven weeks then? No, I'm not. I am. Uh, in fact, I'm flying back on Wednesday and then going back out to, to Nice this weekend. So kind of hopping between uh, home okay. and out in France. If your other half wasn't listening between you and I, would you rather stay out there for seven weeks? I believe she is listening, uh, but no, I'm looking forward to getting home, Andy, and, uh, and seeing just, her. Just cough if that's a lie. <laughs> okay, that's it. Not getting me that way, bro. <laughs> I think we just did. Uh, Alfie, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming. I'll speak to you in a bit.
Cheers, boys. Speak to you soon. Thanks. Yeah.